Let's see here. Let's see if we can get this figured out. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get this figured out. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get this figured out. Okay, so I think we can hear now. Make sure we can hear. Okay, so I think we can hear now. Okay, we're good to go. So let's go ahead and get rolling here. Uh, we were just covering over the things that we went through last week, and uh, so we we have everything last week and uh, everything taken care of. Let me go ahead and close this out right here. Everybody should be able to hear. And uh, if you can't hear, let me know, and uh, we'll go back and fix that. Tonight, we're going to talk about the V card. What is the V card? Uh, the V card is a virtual card that is it's just a link on the app, and this is filled in. When you first fill in the information, when you create your app, when you create your app using the template, then this information is automatically filled in. If it's not, then you have to go in and add the V card. But if you use the template system, when you build an app, let me come back over here real quick. When you come in, you create a new app. Create from a template. And you fill out all this information, this automatically fills out the V card information. So if you do that, you don't have to worry about adding a adding the information. The V card is very important because what the V card does is it allows you to uh, place the information, uh, your information inside the Facebook, I mean, I'm sorry, inside the phone directory. And all they have to do is click it. It downloads a V card uh, and everything is good to go. So, hang on just one second. Everybody's texting here. <clears throat> so, anyway, uh, the V card is downloaded onto the phone. Perfect, works perfectly. Next is your social media links. Now, I have never, ever put more than a couple of three social media links on. Had someone call the other day. I mean, their whole phone was just covered in social media links. They said their customer didn't like it. Well, if your customer didn't like it, then find out what their main links are and put their social media links on there. And or, and or go in and just put them in as a link. Go up here to, to links and web pages, and you can add the social media link just like a regular link, and I'll show you here. I've never done this, but this is kind of the answer solution to that to that question. And all you have to do is add a new link and make it turn this into a website. Okay, and if it's Facebook, just type Facebook. And what I would do is, is I would put these in a menu. Okay, I would put these in a menu. And then if you got like 15 different social medias, which is nobody's gonna look at all those, I'm just telling you. So and then put a link as a website right here and hit save and that will create a link to the web to the social media page and it's just like the link that's on the bottom except you're not cluttering up the bottom of the platform okay does everybody understand that i mean that's very very important <clears throat> when you're building an app less is more okay less is more and you don't want to sit there and clutter up an app. People are just not gonna sit there and look. I, I hear people say, well, I built this business card, but I've got like 15 uh, links on the front page. Well, then you didn't build a business card. A mobile business card is literally six links and that's all it is, you know? So just, you just have to make sure you understand what you're doing. I've got people that go out and they'll build a mobile business card or say they're building a mobile business card, charge someone $99 and it takes them two weeks to build it because it's a full blown app, you know, a full blown app. So uh, 
Just remember that. Next is to join our list. Now, remember, I just showed you that we do not have texting attached to this app. Now, when we get to the end of this, I'm going to go back and I'm going to do texting. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how to add the texting to the join our list. This is just simply email. Email works the exact same way from the platform. Okay. You can go in and you can set up email and you can set this up. You can collect the email addresses and you can go in and send out emails directly from the platform. Why people don't do that is beyond me. I'll never know because a mobile app is a marketing tool. It's a tool used to market someone's business. And how do we market someone's business? We collect data in order to increase footfall to bring people back into the business over and over again. Remember, it costs so much less to bring back current customers than it does to acquire a new customer. To acquire a new customer, say for a restaurant, could cost upwards of $15 to $25 per customer. To bring that customer back costs pennies on the dollar. So you wanna make sure when you go in and set these folks up that you're using the tools that are here. Why do people not use the tools? Because they don't use them themselves. If you do not use these tools, you don't know how they work. If you do not know how they work, there's no way you can go in and sell to the clients, to the customers. It's impossible. So make sure when you set up your app, you set up everything that you're going to sell and you understand it and you understand how it works. So right here, you can just simply type in some information. And you can put a, some coupon information in here. Whatever you want to do. This is all HTML, WYSIWYG. You want to center it. Increase the font size, bold it, change the color, whatever. Okay. Allow people to subscribe to the email list. Yes. Okay. Send new email subscribers a custom message. Okay. Thanks for joining. All right, give them, give them something special here. Thanks for joining. All right, ask the users for their birthday. Do you want to put them in the birthday club? Do you want to, do, do you want to uh, set up the birthday email? Yes. Okay. Uh, happy birthday from us at whatever. Uh, 25% purchase discount for your birthday. It's say, okay, you've got your entire marketing platform put together in less than five minutes. Less than five minutes. You can charge $49 to $99 a month for this, you know, and, and that's what you need to do. People say, well, I don't, I can't increase my, I can't increase my revenue. Why can't you increase your revenues? Don't give everything away. The marketing platform is the most powerful platform you have by far. You can literally go in and just set up marketing apps with nothing else on them for people to sign up and use. And that is a very, very powerful way to build your business. A mobile business card takes 15 minutes to build and it takes another, what, three minutes to add this. So simply add. Make sure your join our list is on the front page or wherever you're going to put it.
and there it is right there. Name, email address, birthday club, agree, month. This is my actual birthday. If you guys want to send me something, January 7th. Hit put your information in here. Hit submit. In a few moments, you should receive a message giving you instructions. And I'll get an email with instructions on exactly what I need to do. And when I receive that email, I click OK, I opt in, and I'm done. All right? So let's just do a quick review. We're only going to do three things a week. All right? That way everybody gets it. V-Card is simply a virtual card that you download. You can download it right into the phone, into the phone directory. Your social media links, these are whatever your social media links, and there's many of them. If you want to do I, my main links I always put on is Facebook, Instagram, YouTube channel. Uh, every now and then Yelp. Um, a lot of people don't use Yelp anymore because it really it, 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 it's it's not a good thing anymore. Because people put negative reviews on there just because they don't like you. Other businesses put negative reviews on there because they like you. And the join our list. The join our list literally takes minutes to set up. And this is a great add-on in order for you to create more revenue. Okay. Next week, we're going to go into the email us form, the rate us, and the uh, address in Google Maps. And we'll also go into custom forms. Next week, simply because a couple of these things only take that just a couple of seconds. And we're going to go into custom forms. Custom forms is a very powerful tool that you can use to build forms on your app, collect data, okay, into a database and uh, be able to download the CSV form or your customers can so that they have all that information. If they have another CRM, they can upload that in uh, the CBS form or CSV form right into their CRM. And they have all that data collected from their app. And we will go into that next week. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming out. I apologize for whatever happened to the uh, uh, information there. As it was uh, why the volume wasn't working. I clicked on a few buttons and it started working fine. But uh, we will see you next Wednesday. Everybody have a good evening. God bless. And I will talk at you. And be safe tonight if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area because they are having heavy storms and high winds and flooding. Also, just got an alert during the training. If you're in the New Orleans area, take safe haven. Uh, the streets are flooding and people are getting stranded. So everybody have a good night. God bless and take care. Carrie, my clients want to change the message when they send the person. I know you can't change the link, but you can change the message. Is there a way to change it permanently? Not each time you send the card your client wants to ch change them they send the text to another person i know you can't change the link but you can change the message is there sure you can change the message i mean if you want the message changed permanently when you go into message center go into send new message and when you go down here to schedule the message Set up the same message to run every time you want it to run. If you want the same message to go out every Wednesday, set up the, set up one message, then you don't have to go in and do it again. When you share the card, you're like totally confusing me. No, the message is set in standard. You can't change that. They can change it in their phone. You're talking about when they text it to somebody? Who am I talking to?
I'm not totally lost what you're asking. Are you talking about share web app where it goes through the messaging system of the app itself and it, and it goes to their text message? Is that what you're talking about? If I click on share web app from my phone, it brings up the text messaging system. And it populates it with the link. Okay, do some do some screenshots or something because I'm totally lost. Share web app works directly with the uh, with the uh, text service on your phone, and that message is standard. You can't change that if that's what you're asking. Any other questions? Yes, that can't be changed. They can type more information in there, but that's standard information. They can't, you can put in a ticket to Mark and see if he can do that. They can put in a ticket to Mark to see if uh, uh, he can do that. If that can be done, I'm not sure if it can or not. All right, everybody. Everybody have a great evening. God bless. And we will see you next Wednesday night.